Welcome back to Get Even. In the last episode, if I wanted to read all of these documents, I ended up having to shoot this person. However, when I reloaded my game, they were back. And I don't know why, because when I just looked at evidence, like that evidence on the board, the game saved. Apparently it saved me finding the evidence, I guess, but not the guard dying. Uh, I guess I'll take advantage of that and just leave them unkilled, because that's what I would prefer to do. Alright, let's head up to the next floor. Ooh, we got a bunch of guards in here. What are they looking at? Can I just walk behind them? They're just like staring at the little heater there. Probably want to go down there. Yeah, let's do it. There we go, there we go. Something over there. Damn, this is a hard place to do stealth in. Whoa, what? How did you see me? How in the heck did they see me? I think they saw my head over the crate or something. Alright, let's see if going down the floor resets him. No, they're searching. Alright, I'm gonna wait for a second. Okay, I think we're just about back to how it was before. Dude's staring out. We can go behind him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's the best way? Behind the couches? I feel like they're going to see me. Nah, I think I gotta go this way. But this time, I'm just going to hang out right here. I'll use the map and won't try to peek around cover. I must have seen my head. I can't think of what else I could possibly see. Come on, gun. This is really tense. Uh, what information do I need? I think what I need is the other half of the card, right? Okay. Whew, the game just saved, too. Alright. What is this? Rose's property still waiting for... A still waiting for someone brave enough to deliver it to her. I don't know what 
phone scanning. Is the card there? Ah, it is. Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. I pick the best man for the job. In and out. So we know that it's done. And once we've got her, we just sit tight until the payment arrives. I'm not so sure if it would be that simple. It's paranoid. There's multiple alarm systems. CCTV. Listen, darling. It's a kidnapping. Not rocket surgery. To be honest, I've lost count of how many snatches I've done. All you need to worry your pretty little head about is that the info you've given us is legit. You get me? I assure you my info is legit, Mr. Prado. It's what you're going to do with it that worries me. What is that? Is that more info? Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Do I want to go back this way? I don't think I do. I think I probably want to go back the exact way I came in here from. I could probably just run, because they don't seem to follow me into the ladder, but nah. I say the ladder? I meant the stairs. Okay. Woo. Um, was that, uh... Was that down the floor? Or was it this way? Ah, oh, yeah, here it is. Interesting. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shit. There should be Still missing some data. Nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for. Huh. I thought I would have saved this. Apparently I didn't. Security ID complete. Rose Atkins login now available. Okay. So we can't okay, have Let's try this. Give us the memory gizmo, or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? <laughs> the ID you works. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just? He won't. Is that it, or ah, here we go. Grace's room, isn't it? Yeah, Mom was right not to trust her. Talking about Rose, obviously. Yeah, so Grace hasn't been addressing us, Cole Black. They've been addressing Ramsey. I feel like I'm in Gone Home. I'm in a, a young woman's apartment. Or, I mean, her room. Just look at every little thing. Played violin. War shoes, okay, okay. Putting the pieces together. God, their family was so rich. This stuff looks so nice. It looks so f fluffy, but also kind of weird. It's like there's some... Sort of like a hair shader working on it, but maybe I've set the graphics quality down too low so it doesn't look very good. It just looks strange. It's like gone home, but you can't pick anything up. Be yourself, but not like that. What does that mean? Stephanie Queen something how to become a prolific writer Sebastian Gola physics forces puppy hmm looks like watercolor oh 
Oh, kitty cat. Topic, OMG. Come on, Grace wasn't that young. Uh, from Hannah to Grace. What's up, bitch? What the fuck? I read the short story you sent me on Wednesday. Zombie teachers versus vampire kids. Funny shit, Grace. I'm your number one fan. Now when can we get drunk and have another movie marathon day? Yeah, I don't know how old Grace was, but I don't know. It looks maybe about 18. Close to it. Oh, I don't even have my camera. Okay, so don't need to worry about evidence or anything. Oh. And this light works, unlike the other one. Can hypnosis be useful during interrogations? For more than 50 years, hypnosis was a subject of much fascination and research for the CIA. Believing that its apparent power to unlock the secrets of the mind might prove useful, the agency studied it during three major problems. Bluebird, artichoke, and Macultra? Morse Allen, who worked in the, well, some of it's faded, worked in the Office of Security, not only employed academic experts on the subject, eh, this will be easier, on the subject of hypnosis, but also conducted several significant experiments studying the value of hypnosis for interrogating a person against their will. Allen hypnotized secretaries from his office to steal classified files and pass them on to total strangers. In one case, he allegedly convinced one of them to take a pistol she believed was loaded and shoot her colleague. But later experiments proved that these techniques can be highly unreliable and are far more effective if the test subject has a positive relationship with a hypnotist. Without a pre-existing relationship, it was almost impossible to rely on these techniques, and an interrogation setting would immediately cause the subject to resist the hypnotic induction. Hmm. And then highlighted here. Far more effective the test subject has a positive relationship with the hypnotist that's highlighted. Hmm. Was that something Rose was doing with Ramsey? Developing a positive relationship to, among other things, hypnotize him. That also makes me think of the whole clock thing. Remember in this dream world, we came to that huge clock? I kept hearing that click noise. What well, if that's some sort of a hypnosis thing? Grace, uh, I'm only home for another few days now, so let's arrange something soon. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out that link I sent you. You'll love it. Anyway, um, call me back. Bye. Looks delicious. Uh, where do I need to go from here? I didn't see anything I could interact with. Oh. Near midnight. Yeah, I've been hypnotized, haven't I? What are you doing? No, 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 no! Don't, don't touch me!
this is maybe maybe Ramsey or uh, uh, oh Christ, what was her name? The the wife's name? I forgot it. But yeah, maybe Ramsey or them coming home. Where were you? What happened? Lenore. Are you okay? Where's Grace? Where were you? At work, you know that. Where's Grace? You weren't at work. I called you at work. I called you on your mobile. I even called Rose. Nobody answered. Lenore, where is she? Where's Grace? Lenore. She's gone, Robert. She's gone. Wherever she is, I'll find her. I promise. You did this, didn't you? What? How could you even say that? Your obsessions, Robert. With work, with your technology, with Rose. It's all led us here. With Rose? Lenore, I have don't. no... Don't. Just... Don't. Hello? Sorry to call you here, Rob. You weren't answering your mobile. I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you later. Is everything okay? She's gone. Who's gone? Lenore? I have to go. Understand now. That girl, Grace. That was the girl from the explosion. The girl with the bomb was Grace Ramsey. Yes, Mr. Black. The girl you failed to save. And you knew. You put me through all of this to find information that you could have just told me. Or was that not part of my fucking treatment? want to pause for a second I think the, the person that gave permission to uh, you know signed away permission to look into I think Ramsey's mind that we heard at the very very beginning you know where the other person said we kind of need to be fast the brain cells are dying or something like that I think that maybe was Lenore giving away permission to look into Ramsey's mind No, Mr. Black, I couldn't tell you. I needed you to remember. I needed you to understand who she was. I needed you to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Black. For Grace. She was taken, kidnapped, held to ransom from Ramsey's memory tech. Your memory tech. It's you, isn't it? You're Robert Ramsey. Yes. I'm Robert Ramsey. And Grace. My grace was abducted for a ransom demand I never received. Oh, I don't know what to say, Robert. I'm just so, so... Save your pity. Save your emotions. I do not need them. All I need to know is who Rose and Jasper were working for. Who was behind it, Mr. Black? I don't know. But isn't it obvious? If I had to make a guess... Then I... you would be making assumptions. We deal with facts here, Mr. Black. Hard evidence. Empirical data. I have my suspicions, yes, but we have come too far to throw it all away on guesswork. We must continue with your treatment. Treatment? There never was any treatment, there was there? I'm not here through choice, am I? Although your memory is damaged, I see your intuition is not. No, Mr. Black, this is not a hospital, but a prison. And unless you proceed, you will find me to be a less than hospitable warden. I am your lock. I am your key. I can be your enemy or I can be your salvation, but I will have my answers. Now, proceed. I strongly says I mean, they're definitely not Ramsey, the person I'm talking to. That is blatantly obvious. They're, I feel like they're probably Lenore, possibly Rose. I suspect Lenore, because remember when we started learning more about Rose Atkins, isn't that around the moment that 
I'll just call them Red. That Red started not talking and got a bit more aggressive, went silent for a while. And maybe that's because that was... You know, because if they're Lenore, well, they're married or were married to Ramsay, and hearing about Rose would bother them a lot. Is that doesn't look good. That shouldn't be coming out of the ventilation. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Am I being poisoned or something? Seems like Cole Black visited the kidnapper's hideout in person. Rose was their inside man in FDG. She's the key to all of this. Oh, that's uh, Grace's computer. That email that starts with OMG from Hannah. Yeah, this is like a little bit of stuff from Grace's room. Guess this is where we're supposed to go. Locked in here. Uh, is this new stuff? FTG takes the lead. Oh yeah, this is new. Okay, got a bunch of stuff about Rose. Rose Atkins, lab assistant. From Robert Ramsey to Scott Hopkins. Uh, work placement. Scott, I know you're not keen on her, but I think that we should hire Rose Atkins. I know she seems a little rough around the edges, but she's highly intelligent and her credentials are very impressive. Just take another look at her CV for me, would you? I'd like to hire her, but only with your blessing. FDG takes the lead. ADS's rival, Future Defense Group, just took the majority share of Europe's arms market. Only two months ago, we informed you about ADS's plans to become, as according to CEO Roger Howard, a creative force that will change the world. But it turned out that ADS's rival, FDG, just took the majority share of Europe's arms market for the first time in history. Founded in 1996 by young entrepreneur John Lethem. Lethem. Is that related to the asylum? Lethurst? Like Lethurst or something? Um, FDG started as developer, manufacturer, and distributor of electrical weapons and smoke grenades. Five years later, the company branched out and began manufacturing pistols, quickly becoming one of the largest defense contractors in the country. Communications. Uh, from between Joel and Clementine. Hey, C. Do you see Rose today? Did you see Rose today? No? Why? She looks like going to an audition for a lead role in Nympho or something. You mean she's naked? No, just unbuttoned her shirt, really. But she definitely look, looks like she wants to fuck somebody ASAP. Nothing new. She'll always find a way to fuck us all over. She's my number two villain at the moment, just behind Cthulhu. Anyways, what you doing tonight? Me and Amber go into the this new club Lacuna. I know that place. It's fantastic. DJ Raquel played there last Friday. You coming too? Absolutely. At Future DG, FDG. So the other arms company? If they're talking about Rose, then Rose used to work for FTG, it sounds like. Oh, that's that x ray with the bullet. 
Can't really see it too well. It doesn't have a name on it, does it? I doubt it. Actually, it might. Jim something. Jim something. That doesn't match any name I've seen. Rose Atkins, a future DG. Uh, between Greg and Rose. I know it was you. You fucking did that. Did what? Now I'm screwed. Even Boss thinks I'm some kind of perv. Uh, first of all, I didn't do anything. Second, everyone here knows you're a fucking perv, so that's hardly news. We'll let you get away with this, you stupid bitch. It's Miss Bitch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to be getting on with. Some of us still have a job, you know. Huh. God, it's so dark, I can, ba <laughs> can barely read it. Uh, project Statistics at FDG. April 2014 to the 31st of March 2015. Uh, I don't think anybody matters except for Rose Atkins. Project name, Augmented Reality Helmet System. Memory Visualization Headset. Hours spent working on project, 1900, 960, 2900 hours of work a year. Damn. Yeah, so they were working on the headset around the same time that the other group was also working on it. What's the other group's name again? ADS? Advance? Yeah, ADS. ADS, FDG, ADS, FDG. From Madeline Cordova at FDG to Scott Hopkins at FDG. Atkins email. Mr. Hopkins, I'm forwarding you a copy of Rose's email as requested. Long story short, looks like she wants a raise. I'm not quite sure she's as irreplaceable as she'd have us believe, but that's just me. So it's an email from Rose to Madeline. Dear Madeline, I'm writing to officially request that my job title be upgraded to something other than Lab Assistant. My contributions to Dr. Ramsey's Pandora slash Savant have been significant, but he has told me on more than one occasion that he doesn't know what he would do without me. I've been working as many as 16 hours a day in recent weeks to help Dr. Ramsey understand and debug the technology, and have made significant sacrifices elsewhere in my life to do so. I would never complain, since I love my work, but feel like it's time my efforts were better recognized by FDG. I'm happy to take this up with Mr. Hawkins in person if necessary. I thought, I thought Dr. Ramsey worked for ADF. Or ADS. Did Ramsey not? I thought they did. Unless Rose Atkins' official job was actually just working with Dr. Ramsey. That was probably it, huh? Yeah, Rose's official job was probably like corporate espionage, basically. Learning as much as they could about the project. Try to copy what they can. From secure to rose. Roses are red. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you with us, Atkins. I know it wasn't an easy choice. Keep your fingers on the pulse and don't let Jay do anything stupid. Remember what I told you about him. Confidential employee record, Atkins. Master of Science in the Faculty of Computing Engineering in the Built Environment. Career history in FDG. Work placement in the Science and Tech Department. Around 2008 and 2008 to present, worked as Robert Ramsey's PA on the following FDG projects. Hmm, augmented Reality Helmet System. Corner Gun Weapon System, Memory Visualization Headset. Wait. I'm confused. Those FDG projects, I thought those were ADS projects. Who the hell developed what? I swear it was ADS. Huh.
Looks like a cemetery. Okay. What do I need to do this time? Search the memory for Rosa Atkins. Find out who her employer was. Find out why she would turn on me after I gave her everything. Okay. And then we will find out your involvement, Mr. Black. We still need to know why you were there. Yeah, I think I'll gather as much information as possible in all these places and then try to answer some of my lingering questions by going into here and looking at all the evidence. Speaking of, let's go in here and see how much we have percentage-wise and see how many boards are blank. The devil is in the detail, Black. It pays to check things over. Looks like we got most of it. Um, I don't know, is the one that I just went to on this board? If so, it, it'll be at like 0%. It might only show up when you complete it. Uh, looks like it, so I think this uncompleted one is probably the one I just went to. So, let's see how we're doing. 80%. Hmm, 76%. Not great. Meaning with rows. 45%. Oh, wait. Location, Homewood Cemetery and Future Defense Group Headquarters. Oh, okay, so we haven't completed that yet. It's partially completed. Yeah, I counted the stuff outside of, like, all the stuff that I read before going into the cemetery. Okay, so then I don't know what this board is for. So that's 45% already, 88%. Jasper's dying minutes. 96%. Nice. 82%. 84 51. The first asylum building C. Well, I'm probably going to come back there later, I'm guessing. If I only got 51%, I doubt I missed that much. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Alright, I hope you have enjoyed so far. And when I return, we are going to check out Rose Atkins at the cemetery.